Is it safe to run 0W40 in my 3.0 Duramax diesel? How about 0W30? 0W20 is what is required by GM based off of the oil cap as well as the owner's manual. And Dexos decertification is a huge, huge critical must have. So we're gonna answer the most common questions that I get about engine oil for the Duramax diesel, the 3.0 Duramax diesel that is. And yes, there's also a 5W30 back here, which I've tested in my truck. And we're gonna go ahead and get into some detail. I'm not going to directly tell you what to run. Well, actually, yes, I am. If you're concerned about warranty, stick with the Dexos D engine oil. As you can see on your cap, requires, requires, Dexos D certified. Watch out for other manufacturers that say meets the standards. If you're really worried about your engine warranty, stick with something that is certified Dexos D. Go to Dexos.com and look it up to see if the engine oil is on there. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into our 0W20, 30, 40, because I got some incredible data that was sent to me by actually a viewer of the channel. So we don't want to name him. So we're just going to refer to him as A. In this video, I will also be comparing my results, Pennzoil 5W30, with my testing. I want to point out, I used oil analyzers for my engine oil test, which I bought it through Amsoil. So just a little uh, information on there, so that way there's no confusion as to some numbers. But we're going to get into iron right now, because that's what I focused on, on my oil analyzers tests. Now, if you remember from prior videos, if you haven't seen the prior video, then I highly recommend you go ahead and check it out. But I've got five different engine oil samples here that I worked with. We're going to go to my board right here because it makes it a whole lot easier for me. This is my ZR2. I started off with Hot Shots 020. We had 8.55 iron found within per 1,000 miles. Amsoil 0W20 I tested, 9.37. Mobile 1 020. We're going to get to this number because this is an interesting number. 10.97 per 1,000 miles. Pennzoil 5W30, my iron dropped to 7.43 per 1,000. I followed up with another sample test, 5W30, 7.4. Again, iron per 1,000 miles. Now we're getting over to A's numbers here. 0W20, he saw 20.27 iron per 1,000 miles. That does not coincide with mine right here. So I just want to point out that the two different oil samples are showing different results. These are different engines, so keep that in mind, but I'm just trying to share results. So with A's engine, he went ahead and did 020, then 030, 040, and you can see the iron per 1000 dropped considerably. So with the 040, A was seeing 8.74 per 1000. I was seeing 7.4 and 7.4 per 1,000 with my 5W30 Pennzoil. So in my case, I like the trend that I saw with mine by switching my engine oil, and that's what's critical. If you're going to go and play around with different engine oil samples, make sure you get samples done, so that way you can see if you're trending towards the wrong direction or if you're, you're helping or hindering. So then Speed Diagnostics focuses on total wear metals so as a total, the 0W20 showed 24.2 in A's truck. 0W30 was 13.9. 0W40, 11.2. Now in my truck with the Pennzoil 5W30, total wear metals, I was seeing 9.9. .9. So all in all, I'm happy with my Pennzoil 5W30. But before we get too crazy, Mobile One ESP is what this is. There is a 5W30, and per the email from A, it was mentioned that this was a different additive package and recommended not to use that. So that's a recommendation that I would not take lightly. Definitely uh, stay away from the 5W30 at this point. I don't know the specifics on that, but if something like that is said, I'm going to follow it. So the question is 0W40 safe? It appears to be safe for A's truck based off of all the information that he's been provided. My truck, I'm running 5W30, where I did these two tests, and the 5W30 was showing great results. I am now on 0W30, and we're going to compare my numbers now that we've seen this. I will not be switching from oil analyzers because, as you guys said, I, I asked, and I was like, do I switch speed diagnostics? And most people said, absolutely not. Stick with 
what you've been getting your readings from and we will continue this so that way we have an accurate reading. Way more knowledge than anything I've ever seen. I would trust their diagnostics on oil samples over any other company. But at this point in time, I started with oil analyzers. I'll stick with oil analyzers until we're done playing around with these tests and then I'll switch to speed diagnostics. Here is the data that was provided to me. I blocked out some of the stuff so that way it keeps it nice and clean so we're not sharing A's information. But I also wanna point out one last thing on here and that is the mileage in between the intervals, 2400, 2800, 2800, those are shorter, but on your measurements per 1000 miles, that really should not come into play. So keep that in mind. It is a 25 truck also, and I don't know the total miles on it. However, we've got 26 trucks out and have been out for a while. So I'm assuming that this was over 10,000 miles when we did this test, but I unfortunately do not have that exact information. So just keep that in mind. But this is the data that he received for his testing. I mean, this is tremendous data that he shared with me and I was able to share it with you guys. So shout out to A, shout out to Speed Diagnostics for the great work that you've always helped us with. So hopefully this uh, answers some questions for you. And if it creates more questions, ask them down below because I do get a lot of knowledgeable people passing through here and we can get a lot of information shared. Again, if warranty, stick with Dexos D, don't mess around with stuff. You got a lot of critical components in there. This is all very important to maintain your full engine warranty.